We're here with Norwood's version of Dr. No-No, uh, Sean Mellon. Sean, the first two times this year you carried no-hitter into the seventh inning. Same situation against Denham in the seventh inning. Did you any flashbacks? Uh, not really. I just kind of was trying to go out there. And against Denham, I really was all over the place all game. So I kind of started in the seventh throwing strikes consistently. And once I that was the best inning I had all game was the last. So it was kind of nice that I went out, uh, went out strong. We've talked about this before, but you know, when you're a pitcher and you've got a no-hitter going, when do you start to realize that you know something special going on? Um, I can It's kind of changed game to game, where you kind of know either from the start or against Dedham, I didn't even realize it until like the middle, like middle of six. I realized that I hadn't given up a hit yet uh, because I had guys on base the whole game. It kind of depends on each game. Uh, I think if you're pitching good, you kind of are aware that you got good stuff and you're on. They're not getting hits and they're not getting on base. You kind of know when you're just going uh, consistently throwing strikes and pounding the zone. You know, one other thing, you know, the three of the games that you've had no hitters against in the seventh inning haven't exactly been against Little Sisters of the Poor. Yeah. You get Zavarian, Braintree, Dedham. I mean, you know, your, your stuff. I mean, of those three games, where did you feel you had the best stuff? Which game and why? Um... I really don't think I had good, like great stuff in any of them, but probably Braintree because I was going, I could go fastball, curveball, really in any count. I was throwing, I didn't really have a good changeup in either, in any game, any any of those three games. But against Braintree, I could throw a curveball consistently for a strike. Where against Dedham and um, who was the other one? Severian. It was mostly just fastball. I was just kind of living with the fastball and just trying to live with command. And against Dedham, I struggled with it, but against Severian, I was spotting on both sides of the plate, up and down. You know, flashing back to junior year, you had the highlight with kids dream about winning a state title. You were out there in the set. Talk about what it was like walking to the mound that last inning against St. Peter Marion. It was a nice walk out because we had a, the offense did a great job getting an eight one lead or getting an eight nothing lead, and I, I gave up a run. So I knew I had to, I had to go out then and just kind of pound the zone there. It was just a great walk out. It was with the whole, all my teammates behind me. There was really nothing better than walking out for that. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Last question, you know, after the season, you head to Northeastern. What was it about Northeastern that, you know, convinced you you wanted to be there? Um, I really like the coaches. I like the environment. I liked how they recruited local kids and how that they came in and said, you're going to have to earn a spot. It's not just here for the taking. Like, you're going to come in. You're not just going to be in front of the line starter. You're going to come in and work for it. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I like the coaches, too. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, thank Hi, Dan Ventura of the Boston Herald. I'm here with my Norwood Blue to talk to Norwood baseball coach Kevin Igo. Kevin, you certainly have a pitcher who's had quite the season at Sean Mellon. Yeah, no, he, he's been unhittable uh, through the first five games, 5-0, and 35 innings, God knows how many strikeouts. But, uh, you know, he's, his development's really started with his off-speed stuff, and, you know, um, believing in his off-speed only helps his fastball. So. I mean, you were you were played at Zavarian, went on to play Division One baseball. You know, you've seen a kid like this. You know, what is it that's going to stand him in good stead at the next level? Yeah, his composure on the mound and confidence, like he doesn't get flustered. He's got all the tools, um, but the biggest thing is his composure. He doesn't get rattled. Everything around him's falling apart, and his heartbeat stays level. Like it's it's really his biggest attribute. Last year you went 10 and 10, and then you had that nice tournament run, won a state title. You know, about, you know the evolution of Sean in the postseason. Yeah, no, Sean. Sean was a big part of that. Certainly, he. Had, I think he had five of the six appearances. Um, not sure the innings, but he's certainly a big part of it. Um, you know, uh, we had Johnny Ryan as well on the mound. A big shutout against Walpole. But uh, come state state title time against St. Peter, we went to Sean, and he absolutely dominated. Would you like to go up and bat against him today? God, no. No. <laughs> oh, those days are over. <laughs> Thanks so much.